Full race cards and selections for every weekend and every day of major horse racing festivals are on our website at ulo.co.uk. There's some classy national hunt racing on both sides of the Irish Sea on Saturday, to follow on from Friday night, where day one of the Breeders' Cup meeting features at Keeneland. More of that later, but on Saturday, the Ladbrokes champion chase is the early season highlight at Down Royal. We'll be siding with Galvin, who we backed to beat a Plue Tard in the Savills chase last year at a tempting 10-1. Gordon Elliott's classy gelding won't be anything like that price for this, but he's a smart chaser who has more to come. Earlier on, Bryony Frost will be trying to make all from the front with Froden in the Badger Beer handicap chase. He fizzled out a bit last season after a win on his seasonal reappearance, but he's since had a wind op, and there's no one better than Bryony to get her charge into a good rhythm at the front, so expect some fireworks from the pair, who have built up a super relationship over the last few seasons. It's also the Sefton chase at Aintree, over the Grand National fences, and we'll take a chance on senior citizen from Alan King's in form yard. Adrian Heskin knows how to get round here, so last year's runner-up, senior citizen, looks super each-way value. Saturday's nap, though, runs early on the Wincanton card, in the Grade 2 Rising Stars Novices Chase. It's hard to ignore the appeal of McFabulous, who has long looked a decent chaser in the making. Paul Nichols will have him teed up well for this, knowing that he goes well fresh, and this is a good starting point for a big campaign in the novice chasing ranks. Exciting, and the one to beat. Later on, our next best features in the elite hurdle, so Royale will take his usual place in the lineup for this Grade 2 contest. He's won it for the last two seasons, and this year has had a warm up at Kempton, coming home over nine lengths clear in a listed hurdle. Equally at home over fences and timber, so Royale makes plenty of appeal to make it the hat trick in the elite. Should you tune in early enough on Friday evening, these are our picks for the first day of the Breeders' Cup meet at Keeneland, where there's plenty of British and Irish raiders lining up in search of some eye watering prize money. First up is the juvenile turf sprint, where there's a fascinating clash between the astonishingly quick British raider, the Platinum Queen, and Home Hope, Love Reigns. The Platinum Queen hasn't had the luck of the draw being sent out from stall 12, widest of all, and won't have much time to get good track position before the bend, so Wesley Ward's Love Reigns gets the nod. In the juvenile Phillies turf, Aidan O'Brien's Meditate has to be the one to follow. She has impressed all year, and deserves some Group 1 success over a mile while Silver Knot can land the juvenile turf for Charlie Appleby. He's been the trainer of the year, globally, and our nap for the autumn stakes at Newmarket does look something special, so Silver Knot can stake his claim from stall four in a good night for the raiding party.